Hi everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel, Yonsa's Universe. Please don't mind my bird. Disclaimer, I have a bird. She's gonna chirp. I'm teaching her how to talk, okay? So, welcome back to my channel, Yonsa's Universe. It's me, Yonsa. This is gonna be your offline reading, who is coming towards you, okay? You guys, check out all the other readings. I did a couple of all signs readings. They are time stamped. Um, I've done your weeklies already. Check out the next actions this person is going to take towards you readings your monthlies will be uploaded this week and this weekend you can like share subscribe leave me a comment leave me a love donation book a personal reading with me follow me on all of my social media you can purchase any of my products i sell oils and i sell bath sets i will be doing a video or showcasing them in my videos as well and check the description box and let's go ahead and jump into it. Ancestors and guides, protect me as I go within the tarot. Holy Spirit, holy angels, orchestrate this reading. Keep me safe. Return to sender any and all negativity. No weapon that's from the gifts we shall prosper. Give me clear, honest messages. Universe. Close our doors so no negativity sneaks in. And only once I call upon it will come here. Ashe, Ashe. Ancestors and guides, protect me. Ancestors, I appreciate this reading. I shall. I shall. Okay, let's go. We're going to do from Aries to Pisces, you guys. Okay, let's jump into it. Okay. <laughs> Aries, who's coming towards you? Who's coming towards Aries, please? Keep an open mind. Somebody who may not be you. you they're not your usual type. They're not your usual expectation. It may be somebody shorter than your usual type. Somebody taller than your usual type. Somebody um, who don't look like your usual type, okay? But they're good for you. How else will Aries know who this person is? Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They're going to be honest with you. You can talk to this person. Tell this person what is on your heart and mind. Finances and career. They could tell you that um, they're money-focused. They're trying to get their money together. They could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But you can feel like you have a past life relationship with them. Ooh. Y'all, these cars are old. I need to get them fixed. Reconciliation. And I done ripped my damn cards up. Keep an open mind. So I see it's multiple people. It could be an ex or just someone who you had a past life relationship with. It don't even have to be your ex. If it's y'all ex, it's probably for only one or two of y'all. Keep an open mind. There's a new person coming into your life who will be open and honest with you. And you'll be able to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So be open to talking to this person. They may be telling you, hey, I got some financial things that I'm going through. Or maybe you may be telling them, I'm focused on my finances. But you're going to feel an attraction to them you're going to feel a connection with them because this is a past life relationship and they're coming back into your life for the first time in this lifetime okay trust trust this situation to unfold naturally the way it's supposed to all right aries who's coming towards aries holy spirit three of wands somebody you've been waiting on a slow poke could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Someone who lives at a distance as well. Um, they could live maybe out of city, out of the city, out of the state, out of the country. Could be a Scorpio with the death card. Who's coming towards Aries? Four of Swords. Someone you've been on the break from. Maybe someone who just had surgery. Clarify this Four of Swords. Someone who's peaceful. Strength. It could be a Leo. I feel like it's easy to get along with this person. Clarify with four swords and strength. They could have air and fire in their chart. Seven of Cups. Choices. The High Priestess. A Pisces. Empowerment. Oh God, it's this X. It could be a Leo or a Pisces. Libra cancer why is this person showing up the person coming towards you is your ex maybe money or stability instability is what broke y'all up what about this new person i feel a new person i feel like the old person is going to show up first 
new person, ten of wands. They got some stuff that they need to get rid of. Ten, ten, ten of pentacles. This new person, I think they're getting out of something. Their money is tied up. That's why you're not gonna. That's why you're not gonna want them. Two of swords. You're gonna be like, oh, I don't know. I don't see that. You're gonna. Why are you rejecting this new person? It's because they're not your usual type. Generosity. They're going to be too nice? Is that a thing? Knight of Cups. The new person's going to be too nice. That's why you, you don't like them. They're a nice guy or they're a nice girl. They're sweet. They're a sweetheart. Your ex is coming back too. I don't see, What do they... What do your ex want? What does Aries ex want? No? Okay. What does Aries ex want? Queen of Swords. They want to talk. They want to talk, but it don't seem like it's going to be in the nicest way. What do what do your ex want to talk about? They miss you. You make them happy. The Sun card. Page of Wands. They want to have sex, though. The Page of Wands isn't like somebody who gets things done. Eight of Pentacles. They may still be focused on their money. They're going to send you a cute little what you doing how you been happy v-day but i don't see no pressure this per this ex isn't applying pressure like the new person is the new person is nice they're sweet they're sensitive they care about your feelings they care about whether they're being too pushy or not moving on taurus taurus who is coming towards you taurus who is this person coming towards my taurus Who's coming towards Taurus? Release your ex. Release them. Your ex could be coming back or shit. What's coming towards you is that you need to release this ex. Maybe the person coming towards you is somebody who hasn't released their ex yet or they're on the breakthrough of releasing their ex. How else will Taurus know who this person is that's coming towards them? The person coming towards you may be somebody you need to release. Let go of control issues. They're controlling. That's how you know who this is. But y'all have great chemistry together. It could be another Taurus. Um, somebody who's going to want to talk. It could be an Aries. They have the same cards coming out. Heart to heart conversation and keep an open mind. The person coming towards you is the sex only connection. Because we got passion. Let that shit go. Who, who is coming towards Taurus? But it's somebody you're getting closure from. Knight of Wands. Yeah. A playboy, playgirl. They're going to tell you that they love you. Could be a Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces. Who's coming towards Taurus? It's your sneaky link, don't fell in love. Five of Swords. Ace of Wands. They want to come back together to get what they want. And that's sex. Please be aware of this. Whoever, And they don't have to be your ex, but it's somebody you need to release. This person is trying to control you. Five of Swords. They trying to use they they privacy areas to control you. Clarify the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Cups for who this person is. Who is this person? King of Cups. It's a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Somebody who can be emotionally manipulative, and they'll draw back their energy. Temperance could be a Sagittarius, the Emperor. Okay, and then we have the hangman. Somebody who's going to keep you stuck. Can you tell me about new love, please? New love coming in for Taurus. Five of Pentacles. Oh, shit. New love coming in for Taurus. Page of Wands. This is going to be a sex-only thing, too, if you don't heal. And get stable, Taurus. I do see you could be uh, connecting with a Leo. All right, who's next? Gemini. Who's coming towards Gemini? Who's coming towards Gemini? Who's coming towards Gemini? 
somebody who's very flirtatious towards you somebody who you you have grown to like them these feelings didn't just come overnight you spent time with this person or you talk to this person now and again or you talk to this person on some type of level to had um developed romantic feelings this ain't just no random person how else will gemini know who this person is Let your friends help you. You talk to your friends about this person. Maybe you may ask your friends for advice about them. This could be the one. You feel like it is. You feel like you've met the one. Retreat. You want to disconnect from the world with this person. So it's somebody who's very flirtatious who you've grown to start loving. You've grown these feelings for them. You, They've developed feelings for you as well over time. So it could have been somebody you were in the talking phase with. Now you want to be boyfriend-girlfriend. Who's coming towards Gemini? Page of Cups is your crush. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. The star could be an Aquarius. You wish for this person. They make you extremely happy. You make them extremely happy. Knight of Cups, they're going to ask you out on a date. So we go from the page to the night. This is somebody you can grow with. The Ace of Swords, they're going to tell you this and communicate this to you. It's, it's somebody who is stable. Even though we don't have any pentacles, this person is pretty stable. They're honest, too, with the Ace of Swords. Oh, well, I lied. Um, the Devil card. <laughs> Clarify the Devil. Damn, just had to fuck up some shit. <sighs> Judgment. It could just be a Capricorn. I feel like this um relationship started off sex only and then you develop feelings for them clarify the devil in judgment the empress oh you could have got pregnant by this person this person could be your baby dad or baby mom or you want to get pregnant by them or just be careful because we do have the pregnancy card i feel like there's a decision that you have to make and it's something that is out of um outside of your morals and values when it comes to this maybe this is a same-sex relationship or maybe this is taboo or something we have the devil card and then judgment with the empress because we have growth and expansion clarify the devil why is clarify the devil page of swords there's some underlying toxicity maybe this person is way younger than you a couple years What's the what? This person could just be obsessed with you. You could just be obsessed with them. Six of Wands. This um. So this kind of if this, mm, I feel like this person has fed your ego, and that's why you fell in love with them. They fed your ego. They gave you compliments. They showered you with attention. They showered you with you know kind words and things like that, and they flirted with you. This person has played the game really well. Now you're trying to figure out, do you really have feelings for them? Or was this all part of their plan? Okay. Cancer. Who's coming towards cancer? Who's coming towards cancer? ancestors who's coming towards cancer let your friends help you you know this person they're in your friend circle how else will cancer know who this person is ask for and accept support from others you may need help from your friends they may need help from their friends True love. That's how you know who this person is. This is the romance of a lifetime. You could have fell in love with your best friend or a friend of a friend. You met this person through your friends. Okay? Give your relationship a chance. You'll know who this is because it's the one you want to give a chance to. It's the one you want to work on it with. Alright, who's coming towards cancer? Six of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. It could be someone from the past. Could be your childhood friend. Someone you have kids with. Someone you have a lot of memories with. Or it could just be your true love. A soulmate. 
nine of pentacles as well you're going to be very abundant with this person you're also going to be able to maintain your independence because this person is very independent they do have passion for you with the page of wands this person could be a virgo i see double nines could be a cancer pisces there is leo sag capricorn taurus who's coming towards cancer The magician it could be a gemini someone who does want to manifest make this work spend time attention actually do the things they need to do to be with you keep you all of that okay clarify the magician two of pentacles yeah putting in time and attention then the devil card i feel like this person gets distracted a lot that's how you know who this is they do get distracted a lot yeah seven of cups they get distracted by other people, other things. This person could have some type of addictions. Damn, five of pentacles, three of pentacles. They drink a lot. They have a spend they have a spending they don't they have a bad spending habit. They they either drink or spend. Okay. Maybe you have a drinking habit or spending habit and you need to ask for some help. Leon who's coming towards leo well who's coming towards leo i'm gonna speed these up because i don't want to be here all day who's coming towards leo true love okay yes yes this, yes this is the romance of a lifetime who's who how will leo know who this is How else will Leo know who this is? Who's coming towards them? Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. This person's going to ask you to trust them. You're, you're going to feel like you can trust them. This true love, you're going to be able to trust them. They're trustworthy, honest, dependable. A stand up guy, a stand up girl. All right. Who's coming towards Leo? It could be a Scorpio. We have the Tower. Foundation. So maybe endings, changes, new beginnings. This is going to be a shock, but this is a good Tower. This is actually like a rebuilding. The Hermit. Wisdom. Someone, um... Someone who's very knowledgeable, an introvert, they keep to themselves. Ten of Pentacles, they want to have long term with you. It's going to be a shock because this person, like this person, you never like think that they would speak to you. Clarify the tower for who this person is coming towards you, towards Leo. The Empress, wow, someone who wants to grow and expand with you. You're going to be like, where is this coming from? Okay, then we have the world. I'm sorry, the wheel, the wheel of fortune. They could want to travel with you, start a new cycle with you. Clarify the hermit. Page of Cups. Wow. Page of Cups, they have a crush on you. They do have feelings for you, and it grows. Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands. They have passion for you. They're not talking right now. We have the Ace of Wands, a new beginning, a new passion. Ten of Pentacles, long term. The Wheel of Fortune. This is a new cycle. It's going to shock you. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Pisces. Aries, Scorpio. This looks good. This looks really good. Growth and expansion with the Empress. Could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. Leo. Another Leo. Okay. True love. Trust it, Leo. All right. Virgo. Who's coming towards my Virgos? Who's coming towards Virgo? 
hurry up. Who's coming towards Virgo? Hmm. Forgiving and learning. Maybe someone that wants forgiveness. Maybe somebody who you want to you want them to forgive you. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This person has released and healed from the past. Or they need to. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. How will Virgo know who this person is? How will Virgo know who this person is? How will Virgo know who this person is? Separation. Is somebody you've been in separation from? Or maybe this person has separated from their ex and is coming towards you. Maybe you separated from your ex and you're going towards them. You both have been calling each other in. That's how you know who it is. Who who's coming towards Virgo? It could be an air sign. I see the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords. An air sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Who's coming towards my Virgos? Who's coming towards Virgo? Yeah, I got a whole book coming out. Death. Somebody who you did end it with or somebody who had an ending or a change in their life. It could be a Scorpio. They want to make it right or they just want balance in their life. It could be a Li Libra. Four of Pentacles. Someone who has not let you go or somebody who does hold things close to their chest so they're not really open. They're guarded. Someone who wants to speak to you. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody who wants to tell the truth. Wants breakthrough in clarity. Eight of Wands. They do want to speak to you. A lot of communication could be travel as well. But we have the Ten of Swords. Someone who has been heartbroken from you or from someone else. Someone who broke your heart. Or, yeah, Ten of Swords. There could have been an ending or betrayal. Clarify death. Clarify death. Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody could have said some mean ass shit. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Strength. Maybe somebody didn't say what should have been said. That's why it ended. Maybe somebody's coming in to break through with communication and end the silence. Because death could be an ending of something. Ending the silence. Strength. Having the strength and courage to say something. Could be dealing with the Leo. Scorpio. Somebody who wants to end the separation. Okay. All right. Libra. Libra. Who's coming towards my Libras? Who's coming towards my Libras? Who's coming towards Libra? Who's coming towards Libra? Honeymoon. Somebody who wants to go out of town with you. Somebody who could be at a distance from you. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. They want to travel with you. This is the Six of Swords. So somebody who wants to move past any chaos or conflict with you. How will Libra know who this person is? How else will Libra know who this is? Who's coming towards them? Trust. Yeah, they're going to ask you to trust them. It could be a Leo. They want to reconcile with you. Okay. Somebody wants to reconcile. This could be an old friend. Could be a Leo, like I said. An old friend who wants to apologize. Make up with you. This could actually be a new person, but no, it ain't no new person. Six of Cups. Somebody who misses you. Could be an old friend. Co-worker. Brother, sister, friend. Who's coming towards Libra? Knight of Cups. They miss you. They want to go out on a date. They're going to give you a gift. I see them coming towards you for Valentine's Day. Knight of Wands. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're going to come with the gifts and come with the dick. They're going to come with the gifts and come with the punani, too. All right. I hear, can I get a refill? <laughs> oh, shit. Can I get a refill? Can I get a refill? 
<laughs> Page of Cups. They like you a lot. They have these cute little puppy love emotions for you. Six of Swords. I feel like this person, like... I feel like this could be somebody that you met online. You met on a dating app. They're going to come take you on a date. Expect someone to be like messaging you. Hey, I want to take you on a date. Hmm, that's who's coming towards you. It could be a Cancer Pisces. Sagittarius Aries. Libra. How else will Libra know who's coming to this? How else will Libra know who this person is? I can get my words right. Three of Pentacles. Someone who wants to work on it with you. Three of Wands. Someone who is at a distance. Five of Cups, and they want to they want to close the distance. You probably turned this person down. That's who it is. It's somebody you turned down before. They're gonna try again. First you don't succeed. Push yourself off and try again. Scorpio, who's coming towards Scorpio, please? Scorpio. Who's coming towards Scorpio? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So give this relationship a chance. The person coming towards you wants to give this a chance. It's somebody you know of. Stay optimistic. They've been so optimistic and hopeful that you guys could work it out. They want to talk to you and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I hear y'all got off on the wrong foot. They want to reintroduce themselves to you. They probably didn't have a good first impression. Who's coming towards Scorpio? Knight of Wands. That in and out motherfucker. We have the Knight of Cups again. Who are y'all dealing with? Page of Cups. Somebody younger than you. Somebody you don't feel who is on your level. Six of, six of Swords. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone who's always distant. Even in the way that they talk. Y'all don't really see each other a lot. They have other investments. Five of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. They do want to try again with you. They do want to try again. They're going to do anything they can to try again. I don't see this Five of Swords as being bad because we do move toward the Six of Swords. So I feel like they're going to soften their approach. But I always feel like, I feel like this person always has other things on their plate. I Like the person coming towards you is whoever has rescheduled with you over and over and over again. I, I That's what I'm hearing. Can we reschedule? Can we reschedule? Can we reschedule? That's who's coming towards you. I don't like that. We do have the Ace of Pentacles. They may actually not reschedule this time, but you already burnt out. Sagittarius. Who's coming towards my Sagittarius? Who's coming towards Sagittarius? Who's coming towards Sagittarius, please? Playfulness. Somebody who's very flirtatious. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Somebody who wants to make up with you too. Reconciliation. They want to be all playful and flirtations. Flirtations. Flirtatious and make you laugh and express their love. They're going to be trying to... This is the person that's going to be all in your face smiling and shit. And you're going to be like, what's so fucking funny? <laughs> They're trying to... they just trying to make you laugh. They're trying to make you laugh. Like, making you laugh is going to fix whatever they did. Who's coming... Or this is what Sagittarius is doing. Who's coming towards Sagittarius? It could be... um. An old friend, lover, co-worker, brother, sister, family member reconciling with you. A reconciliation could just be an apology. It could be a past life person who's entering your life for the first time in this lifetime. Who's coming towards Sagittarius? Who's coming towards my Sagittarius? 
Who's coming towards Sagittarius? The star. Somebody who wants to renew this, heal this. You are their wish fulfillment. You feel vulnerable in front of them. They feel vulnerable in front of you. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody who's really been taking their time. Really taking their time. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. They haven't let you go, but that don't mean anything. This person is very, very careful. They're very careful. So they want to do something different. That's why they're trying to be more playful and, and be more open and be more fun. Because the Knight of Pentacles isn't playful. They're not open. They're not fun. They're, they're careful. Okay? And they're trying to be different. They're trying to express their love. They're trying to give you love in a different love language. Queen of Cups, Will of Fortune. They're trying to be more lovey-dovey. This is new for them. I get that this person has been taking classes and getting advice. Wheel of Fortune. They want to travel with you too. Start a new cycle. They want to be more open and vulnerable about their feelings. And more expressive of their emotions and feelings. Okay. Capricorn. Come on, we almost done. I don't want to be here a whole hour. We almost done. Let's get this. Capricorn. Who's coming towards Capricorn? Who's coming towards Capricorn? Flirt. Okay, somebody's trying to flirt with you too. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. How will Capricorn know who this is? Love yourself first. Somebody you had to um show your self-worth on. No, I don't I don't want to do that. I'm not settling for this. No, I won't accept that. Okay, that's who, that's who you know who it is. That's what made them like you even more. Because you stood up for yourself in front of them. You said, I'm not finna play these stupid ass games with you. I have too much self-love and self-worth for this. Now they coming back for more. For more. How else will Capricorn know who this person is? Soulmate. They your soulmate. <laughs> yes, this is your soulmate. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Who's coming towards Capricorn? Four of Pentacles. They like that shit. That shit kind of turned them on. It could be another Capricorn. What you did or what you said, they kept that shit close to their chest. It, it really affected them. They may pretend like it didn't, but it did. Queen of Wands. Yeah, it turned them on too. coming towards capricorn it could be a leo knight of swords they want to talk to you they're going to be very communicative and expressive i no one has ever talked to me like that that's what i hear them saying or what what i hear them thinking in their mind no one has ever talked to me like that could be they like that shit they they really like that shit they, they had a whole revelation like it could be a leo aries sagittarius Libra, another Capricorn, Ten of Pentacles. They like that. They do. They like somebody of high honor, high value. They like a high value woman. They like a high value man. That's what I keep hearing. High value, high value. Okay, that's who's coming towards you. Because and you keep and you stand your ground towards them. Okay. Um, Aquarius. Who's coming towards my Aquarius? Who's coming towards Aquarius? Who's coming towards Aquarius? Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay, who's coming towards Aquarius? Romantic feelings, someone who has romantic feelings for you. You feel like they're your true love. They feel like you're their true love. How else will Aquarius know who this person is? Will Aquarius know who this is? Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask, so maybe they're not being open and honest about their feelings. This situation involves marriage. The person who's coming towards you is somebody who's already in a, a relationship. They're lying about it. 
reconciliation. They're trying to reconcile. Oh, that's who this is. The person coming back towards you is somebody who had you in a third party relationship. They ended it with the did they end it with the third party relationship? We got pay attention to the red flags. So I'm gonna throw two storylines out there. The person coming back towards you is already in a relationship. I mean, the person coming towards you is someone who is already in a connection. They're lying about being in a connection. They are in a connection, okay? Or the person coming towards you is the same person who you connected with and you didn't know that they had another person. Y'all disconnected and them and that other person didn't even last either. And now that they broke up from that side person, they're trying to come back towards you and reconcile it's that motherfucker okay who's coming towards aquarius eight of cups yeah it's somebody who's been distant somebody you've been distant from not in communication with removed your emotions who's coming towards aquarius Ace of Swords, somebody who wants to fucking talk and tell the truth, but they still gonna be lying. There's still stuff that they're not gonna be telling you. Two of Swords, Four of Pentacles, it's still stuff that they're gonna be holding close to their chest. Okay. So if you don't ask them, they're not gonna tell. This person will talk to you and tell you the truth, but certain things that you don't ask, they're not gonna tell. Ten of Pentacles, yes, they was in a relationship. They was married. Ten of Pentacles, and they might still be. Queen of Wands. This is a side bitch. The Queen of Wands is the side bitch of the tarot. And I hate saying that shit because I'm a Leo. And the Queen of Wands is like, I hate that shit. Because <laughs> it's like, why? The fire signs have to be the side bitches. Like, <laughs> but we got the Ace of Wands right here. This ain't no, hey, I have good intentions type cards. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, choices. This motherfucker is making homes and houses and relationships with multiple people. I don't trust this person. What do this person want with Aquarius? The Hermit. It could be a Virgo. What they want, to still not talk with you? The Hermit don't talk. They ghost people. I don't like this person. Not this one, Aquarius. I'm sorry. This um, this reading wasn't for you. Y'all check out the February monthly I did, okay? That was beautiful energy. Go check that one out, Aquarius. Not this motherfucker, okay? I'm here to tell you the truth. And I don't like whoever this is coming towards you. I'm moving on to Pisces. Who's coming towards Pisces? Who's coming towards Pisces? Who's coming towards Pisces? Getting to know each other. Someone who's going to reveal their innermost self to you. And you can reveal your innermost self to them. Someone who will take the time out to get to know you. How else will Pisces know who this is? This could be the one. You're going to feel like this is the one, but we have deception coming out as well. So don't jump into it. Don't. I get this deception. It could be like a self-sabotage thing. Don't skip over anything. And don't let any red flags or anything like kind of slide by. Just And the reason why we let things slide is because we like these people. I don't give a fuck if you like them. Don't let it slide, okay? Don't let that shit slide, honeymoon. It's because they can be very distant. One minute they on your ass, riding your ass. The next minute they distant, honeymoon. I don't like that shit. Could be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Who's coming towards Pisces? The magician. It could be a Gemini. Yeah, I don't like that shit. I told you, one minute in, one minute out. I thought I dropped another card. Okay. 
the magician. Okay, this person got everything they need to be to be with you. But will they? All right, justice card. They want to make things balanced and make things fair. They have every single thing they need to be able to make things right and balanced and fair with you. But will they? Three of Wands. Why are they taking all this time? Still trying to, still looking out the window, trying to make decisions. Will you or won't you? I don't like that shit. Page of Pentacles. Still looking at other shit. Who's this person coming towards Pisces? Six of Cups. You have memories with this person. This person could be a soulmate. This could be the one. This could be. Have all the potential to be the one. Emperor. Your divine masculine or your divine feminine. The sex is great too. Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. But what, what is this motherfucker going to do? We got the Page of Pentacles. So what I would suggest, the person coming towards you, don't put all your hopes in them. Like, just jump in. Keep your distance. Keep your options open. Maintain the safe distance, a safe space. Because, yes, this person has all the potential to be your one. But that shit still takes time. And I see this person is going to be needing some time. Just because they go little by little. Okay? It could be worth it in the long run. Six of Cups, the Emperor. This could lead to marriage. This could be the one. But damn, this distance isn't, sorry, this distance is what just be fucking it up. Like, golly, maybe y'all are in a long distance relationship or something. Let me do a collective for y'all and we're going to be out of here. All right, collective, what messages do our spirit animals have for us? What messages do you have for my collective, please? Brown Bear Spirit, take time out. Just take some time out, y'all. Don't forget, on the daily, yes, we have responsibilities. Yes, we have work. We have kids and all of this extra stuff. But don't forget to just take some time out. All right, collective. I love y'all. Y'all be safe. Bye-bye.